The moon is a constant presence. It's close to the Earth and it's visible nearly every day. While stars and planets come and go, our closest neighbour is with us throughout the year. These characteristics mean the moon is a fantastic object to focus on if you want to learn more about looking at the night sky. And the great thing is that observing the moon is really easy to do. Even just using your naked eye, you'll be able to pick out markings on the moon's surface. And if you're inspired to take a closer look, it won't break the bank. You can even try it from your own back garden. A great way to begin observing the night sky is through a pair of binoculars. Now, you can use any binoculars, but these ones are a good pair for astronomy. They're known as 15 by 70, which means they magnify 15 times, and the lens is 70 millimetres across. And I've got them on this tripod to help hold them steady. A decent pair of binoculars cost from £50 and will make features on the moon's surface begin to stand out. You can find craters along the line of shadow between light and dark. And see the Sea of Tranquility, where the first men to land on the moon touched down. But that's just the beginning. If you find yourself getting hooked, you might want to try using a telescope. I remember the first time I looked through a telescope. I was 10 years old and I was blown away by what I saw. And no matter how many pictures of space you look at, there's nothing that quite beats seeing it with your own eyes. A telescope will allow you to explore great flat lunar plains at the top of the moon and mountain ridges running between them. The image appears to ripple because we're looking through the Earth's atmosphere. In the lower half, you can see a rugged landscape marked by thousands of impacts over billions of years. Optical telescopes come in a range of sizes. A good amateur one costs around 150 to 300 pounds. The key factor for any telescope is its diameter or its aperture. Now, the wider the aperture, the more light a telescope will collect and the more you'll be able to see. And depending on the type of telescope, a good starting aperture is between 3 and 6 inches, which is around 8 to 15 centimetres. And how much a telescope will magnify an object is determined by the length of the telescope and by the eyepieces, which slot into the telescope just over here. This is a crater known as Copernicus, which has been magnified around 50 times. And this is it, seen with around 100 times magnification. It's the same telescope, but with a more powerful eyepiece. There are two basic types of telescope, and which one you want depends partly on what you'd like to see. Now, if you want to get the best view of bright objects like the planets or the moon, then a telescope with a lens inside it might be just right for you. It's called a refractor, and you look through it like a ship's telescope along the tube. But if you're particularly interested in looking for faint distant objects like galaxies or nebulae, then you might want to consider a telescope that uses mirrors to reflect the light, and it's known as a reflecting telescope. And with this telescope, you look through the side of the tube at the top because you're looking at reflected light off the mirror. Both types of telescope will give you a good view but beginner reflecting telescopes tend to be bigger than beginner refractors, making faint, fuzzy objects easier to see. If you want it really easy and you've got a bit more cash to spare, you might want to think about one of these. This is a computerised or go-to telescope with motors. They start at around £300, and if they're set up correctly, they'll take you to any object in the sky at the push of a few buttons. So, if I want to look at Jupiter, I can select Jupiter off a list on this handset and once entered the motors will swing the telescope round until Jupiter is in the field of view. Now I've replaced the eyepiece for a webcam and attached the webcam to this laptop computer so you can see what's happening. And there it is. 
any good amateur telescope will allow you to explore the solar system with your own eyes. You can find the moons that orbit Jupiter. View the planet Saturn with its icy rings. And even make out the red glow of one of the smallest planets, Mars. And the best thing is that it's a real, live view. With a bit of research and some patience, there's nothing that beats looking up and realising that what you can see really is there, hanging in space millions of miles away.